walking down a New York City street, and I got to him of this blonde, pointy-breasted, raisin-a-day stomach, smiling girl on the cover of Cosmo magazine. She's there every minute, somewhere in the world, smiling down on me. On all of us, she's omnipresent. She's the American dream, my personal nightmare. Pumped straight from the publishing power plant into the bloodstream of our culture and neurosis. She's multiplying on every cover. She was passed through my mother's milk and said, I don't even know I've been contaminated. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I pick up the magazine. No, no, no. It's the possibility of being skinny good that keeps me buying. <coughs> oh, God. I discover a Starbucks maple walnut scone expanding in me, creeping out. Flabby age leaking through the cracks. Big Mac French fries. Pizza Hut. Four helpings can't stop. My stomach is America. I want to drown in the cement. Obviously, I'm missing something. Maybe if I find the woman who thought this up, she'll reveal the secret. when I was 40. I thought that would do, but no. Tried it again at 47. First full facelift at 53. <coughs> Second at 57. Third at 63. I'm desperate for another, but I don't have any skin left on my face. Yesterday, they took some fat out of my backside and they shot it into my cheeks. I think even you would approve me. I'm recycling. <laughs> Pain is weakness, leaving my body. Pain is weakness, leaving my body. I feel like shit. Why do people do this? Why do people do this? Why does Helen do this? She's 70. She has an empire. She can cheat. They love big ass. It's the spread they dread. You get the spread, you're dead. No. Good butts, good asses. Now they are different. They are everything. You wanna, you wanna stick it out. Show it off everywhere you go, especially walking down the street. Hi, baby. <laughs> we start practicing and when we're young, like a driving lesson. Backing them up, turning them round, polishing them up. Ding! For display. You want them high, plumpy, and round. If I had Janet Jackson's abs, I'd walk backwards. <laughs> I go straight to the gym. I do not pass Starbucks. I do not pass Hagen Dazs. I strap myself to the treadmill. Four hours, six hours. People are pissed off, I don't care. I'm working on an abortion. The girls go right to choose. I have rubber burns on my sneakers. I smell like a traffic accident. <laughs> Big surprise. Vernon says, great, keep going. One thing I never had to practice was sex. I took to it like a duck to water. It's been a good week. My husband and I had sex two days in a row. Not bad for 70. I used to practice sitting on a toilet to see what I would look like sitting on a mat. It's bad. You can't, you can't suck in your spread. It's, it's not like your stomach heave. No. So, I would practice the anti-spread positions. <laughs> Certain positions that, if you sat real still, or, or, or sat at a, at a certain angle, <laughs> the spread would not be revealed. <laughs> it was all about keeping the spread in the shadows. There's one particular trick. I'll show it to you. It's called the spread tuck. You lift <laughs> and tuck. <laughs> lift <laughs> and tuck. <laughs> You've got to hold real still though, or the spread will just roll right out. <laughs> There's just something 
about <laughs> metal and flesh. I don't know, it's just, it's just so visual. You know, I don't know anyone who hasn't seen the steel bars and like this. You want to see? Might give you some ideas about what you want. You see, I like wearing a tight t-shirt like today. People look at my nipples and they're wondering what the hell is going on in there. I ran away. I mean, it turns out I'm a little bit too old for a fuck you. Besides, I don't want somebody to take my stomach seriously. I want somebody to take it. <laughs> when my partner touches my stomach, I want to vomit. When he says to me, baby, I love your belly, it sounds obscene. But recently, we were in bed together, and he told me his theory about my belly. That it's this hill that conceals the valley of mystery, and that it's my feminine, sexy part. And without it, he'd be spring bombs. When he was talking, do you know what I was thinking? Why can't you somebody with higher standards? What is wrong with him? <laughs> always been a lot of work for me. Harry, my husband, he's older than me, 20 years. Well, 20 plus. And, you know, I spent a lot of time with my hands, with my mouth, working, 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 trying to get Harry harder and harder and harder. But he never really gets hard. Not hard, hard. It's exhausting. Exhausting. It's, it's like eating lobster. You know, the, the mess, the plastic bib, the, the little piece of meat stuck in the leg. Really? What are you left with? I'm always starving afterwards. Well, it used to be easier before, well, not that much easier, but at some point he got hard enough to make the kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, in order to be good, I've got to be a smiling psychopath. <laughs> Deprived of pretzels, deeply involved with the Nazi trainer, mum from the Botox, white banana sucked out of me with rods, and my pussy tightened. <laughs> so, I would have to be sucking, scrubbing, spending, shaving, pumping, piercing, pricking, perming, cutting, covering, lightning, Tightening, ironing, lifting, waxing, whittling, flattening, starving, and ultimately vanishing. <laughs> Sweet vanilla. Eating, one, two, and two. I eat the ice cream from beneath the body elbow, who are chunky dunking in the pool, causing huge waves in the moonlight. She said I'm fat, so. I eat from a hospital translator who thought that cellulite was anti-communist and she loved her pure Russian fat. I eat for her and Gurdy Brown. I eat for Nina and her lost breasts. Carmen and the dreaded spread. I eat and swallow it down to keep the pleasure, to keep the future alive. I eat for all of you. I eat for my mother. I eat for me. Sweet, merciful belly. Receive, please. Let the fat, sweet, sugary wet enter and encompass me. Let me not be afraid of my fullness. Let me not be afraid to be seen. Maybe being good isn't about getting rid of anything. <coughs> Maybe being good is about learning to live in the mess, in the frailties, in the flaws, in the failures. Maybe what I try to get rid of is the goodest part of me. Think passion, think round, think age, think fat. <coughs> We're crying here. We're bound. We're empty. We're full. We live in a good body. <coughs> we live in the good body. Good body. Good body. Love your body. Stop fixing it. It was never broken. 